megacystis is one of the earliest detectable urinary tract abnormalities. It is most commonly detected during the 11 to 13 plus 6 week early anomaly scan. It occurs in 1 in 1500 pregnancies. Megacystis is diagnosed on ultrasound by identifying persistently enlarged full bladder with a longitudinal diameter of 7 mm or more in the first trimester, measured in the mid sagittal plane. Differential diagnosis for this condition includes transient or physiologic enlargement, chromosomal abnormalities, 30% are associated with aneuploidies such as trisomy 18 or trisomy 13. Posterior urethral valve PUV are the commonest cause in male fetuses. Non-obstructive causes include megacystis, microcolon, interstitial, hypoperistalsis syndrome, which is more common in females than in males, and is associated with persistent megacystis with normal kidneys, amniotic fluid, gut hypermobility, and is caused by a genetic mutation of ACTG2. Prune Bailey syndrome, which is associated with bilateral hydronephrosis, abdominal wall deficiency, and is associated with urethral obstruction. Neurogenic bladder conditions such as spina bifida or cloacal abnormalities impairing innovation. In euploid fetus, prognosis depends on bladder length. If the diameter is 7 to 15 millimeters, chances are that it could be transient and may resolve by 20 weeks. So, if bladder size is borderline, it is important to do a follow-up late anomaly ultrasound scan at 18 to 22 weeks. But if the measurement is greater than 15 millimeters, there is a high chance of obstructive uropathy or renal damage. Prognosis varies widely by gestational age at diagnosis, bladder size, amniotic fluid volume, renal echogenicity and underlying etiology with overall perinatal survival of 10 to 85 percent. Prenatal vesicoamniotic shunting was boosts survival to 60 percent in selected cases, but risk preterm birth, mean gestational age at preterm birth being 28 weeks, and long term renal impairment 40 to 60 percent need dialysis or transplant. Postnatal surgery, that is, vesicotomy or valve ablation, preserves 50 to 70 percent renal function in posterior urethral valve cases. In summary, diagnosis of megacystis should prompt detailed anomaly scan, assessment of kidneys and amniotic fluid, serial follow-up to look for resolution or progression, and early counseling regarding prognosis. Here is a summary of megacystis diagnostic checklist. 